This is my world. The only one I've ever known. Looks pretty good, right? That's because I helped save it once. Well, Knack and I saved it. Knack is my... Maybe I should start at the beginning. My name is Lucas, and this is my home. A beautiful place, covered in mysterious relics. Most think they're the remnants of a long-lost civilization. They're kind of important, mostly because they power, like, everything. A friend of mine, the doctor, spent his whole life studying them, learning their secrets. And one day, he discovered how to connect them, to bring them life, to create Knack. And Knack, he can do anything. Like I said, together we saved the world. And for a long time after, our capital city of New Haven thrived. But now, it's being attacked. I just can't help but think. It's all my fault. What have I done? Get down! <laughs> We'll set this right, Lucas. Beginning now. Is this the place, Lucas? Yeah, just up ahead. All right, sit tight. I'll take her down. You about ready yet, Nack? Any reason why you brought me here for our Sunday hike? Yeah, but if I tell you, it'll ruin the surprise. Ooh, well, I wouldn't want that to happen. Seriously, Knack, kick it into gear. <laughs> I'm just happy I get to spend some time with my favorite nephew. Don't you mean your only nephew? Well, that too. Come on, Knack. It's about time. Let's get this day started. And now, through the goblin-infested forest. A great explorer like me would expect nothing less. Carry on. Lucas, Ryder, see these blue crystals? Check this out. <laughs> Sweet! Can't be. Can't be what, Uncle? If that's what I think it is, it could be a significant archaeological find. If you could get it out of the mud, that is. Maybe I can help with that. You boys sit tight. That'll do it. They said it would never be found. What? What you're looking at is a monument to one of our earliest victories in the Crystal Wars. Who's the caveman? Marius. He's known as a great hero. He's so fierce. Yeah, fierce enough to beat the High Goblins and their robot warriors. High Goblins, huh? And the High Goblins are a different bunch from Gundahar and his kind. How come I've never heard of them? I guess they don't teach that side of the story anymore. The High Goblins haven't been seen since the wars. <sighs> Amazing. Oh. There's more amazing up ahead. Come on. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world.
Finally. It's just through here. Explorers first. Surprise! It's cool, isn't it? What's wrong? It's a battlefield, Lucas. Yeah, from like two billion years ago. I'm with your uncle on this one. Oh, well, you two, come on. They probably haven't moved since that rock war. Crystal war. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe he's right. These things are dead as doornails. Now, these doornails were once the vanguard of the goblin army. Were. I guess. Cool. Still cool, but... Knack! The vanguard of the goblin army? Seriously? Are you sure you didn't do anything to the robots, Lucas? Maybe flip a switch or something. I didn't do anything. You saw them. They just came to life. Most peculiar. Let's call the doctor once we get airborne. Doctor, wait till I tell you what we ran into. Angry robots, by any chance? Yeah, giant angry zombie robots. <laughs> One step behind again, Lucas. That's yesterday's news. It's happening all over. I'm headed up to the monastery at Norcliffe. You can meet me there. Roger that, Doc. <laughs> Ryder! Well, well, well. Quite an exciting morning you've had. Indeed it was, Doctor. <laughs> What's going on? We're well, not exactly sure, but the, uh, the monks have a few ideas. <laughs> How's life in the big city, boys? I'm doing great. He's, uh... Don't listen to him. We're fine. We do miss you, boys. Uh, Lucas, uh, are you sure you're okay? Uh, Charlotte worries. Well, uh, we're fine. Honest. We have more preparations to make, but I'm happy so far with your work. Very good. You're dismissed. Thank goodness. <laughs> Xander, I'd like you to meet Lucas. Lucas and Knack. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Xander. I oversee the Order of Monks here at the monastery. This is Ava, our youth leader. It's an honor to finally meet you. We've heard great stories about your achievements. It's all in a day's work, really. I fear we have more work ahead. As you already know, the robots from the Crystal Wars are rising. I I'm sorry, I don't know much about this Crystal War. Or the monks, for that matter. It's true, my order is not the leaders of mankind as we once were. Perhaps I can explain the Crystal Wars. It's easy to think of the goblins as primitive creatures who live in the wilderness. And smelly. Don't forget smelly. <laughs> but the truth is at the time of the Crystal Wars, the goblins had a highly developed civilization. They were known then as the High Goblins, a proud and cruel race, always at war with humankind over the resources they prized most, crystals a potent energy source that could be found only in the human territories. The High Goblin leader, a master engineer by the name of Yurik, created an army of warrior robots to solve the human problem once and for all. These robots are what we now call the ancient weapons. The humans of that time, our primitive ancestors, were taken completely by surprise at the appearance of Yurik and his army. The High Goblin Empire expanded rapidly as their forces rampaged across the country, bringing destruction and death. It was a dark time, and we might not have survived. But a hero emerged. Our founder, Marius. To Yurik's surprise, 
The strength of the robots was outmatched by Marius' ingenuity. Armed with only rocks, vines, traps, and rock hunting, Marius and his troops were able to defeat high-tech weaponry ten times their size. He led his people to victory that day and for many more to come. The shells of their robot foes littered the landscape as a reminder to all that might oppose them. It's amazing. But somehow, two centuries later, these ancient robots are coming back to life. We need to stop these weapons and discover who's behind this. We're in. Well, now, do you two understand what you're getting into? This isn't your typical Sunday hike. We can handle it. Right, Knack? Knack? Are those? How can it be? You are not the only one who can create life from relics, Doctor. Knack, we have work to do. You can check out your cousins later. So, where do we begin? There is a nearby mountain pass where my ancestors stopped the ancient weapons. They have begun to stir again. We'd best take a look. Like, right now? It's too late in the day to cross the mountain pass. Ava will take you there in the morning. There are other things we can do until we depart. What do you have in mind? Here at the monastery, we celebrate the martial arts above all else. Begin! It's hard to believe you saved the world. All you know are three punches and a kick. He can jump, too. Hey! You're a good fighter, but to be a great warrior, you need to know more. This is relic energy. It's the same force that binds your body together. Now, focus and attack! Now remember, it's dangerous up there. I know. So you must promise to be careful. I, I promise. Just listen to her, Lucas. She's right. Are you sure you're warm enough, dear? I'm good. <sighs> Ava's pretty. Try not to let that distract you. Uh, seriously, I'll be fine. Mm, well, good luck, my boy. Uh, while you're off on your uh, little expedition, I'll speak with Xander about the Awakenings. See if he and I can't... Uh, <clears throat> Perhaps we can find a pattern to them. I'm impressed. It's a little trick I taught him. Hmm. I wonder what's triggering them. I don't know. But I bet we can find out. Uh, Mac? Oh, uh, what? It's behind me, isn't it? Worse than we feared. Do you still want to help us? Definitely. The two hundred year old robots don't just come back to life. Any energy source would be dead by now. I know it defies logic, but there has got to be a reason. We are both experienced engineers. We can work this out. All I'm asking for 
for some practical common sense. Not this You okay? And all I'm asking for is that we remain calm. Yeah. I'm okay. We have a crisis here. How I just can't get those poor people from the village out of my mind. Will you speak with them, Kate? I wish we could figure this out. I am a very reasonable The doctor man. and Charlotte don't, don't seem to be having any luck either. And with the number of robots they've built, you'd think it would make some kind of sense to them. Yeah. But they didn't make these robots. No. That was that goblin, Yurik. Right. Ava, do you know where Yurik actually created these weapons? It was in the High Goblin city of Targan. No one knows where that is. There is one person who can find anything, and can give us a lift. Well, those guys could use some cooler heads. Right, deliver it. What? I don't... As my favorite uncle... Uh, your only uncle? Sure, mm -hmm. sure, but, um... Stop. Whatever it is, I'm in. That's why you're my favorite uncle. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait for me. This is the closest we could land. We'll have to do the last bit on foot. It's so hot. Why would the High Goblins choose a desert as a place to build their city? It wasn't always a desert. Come on, guys. Stealth Nahak! Awesome! Clear crystal. I like the look, but what can it do? Take it away, Nack. <laughs> Why, thank you. This is more like it. Definitely got that mad scientist feel. Yeah, and well defended, too. Look up, Knack. There's your weak point. I bet Yurik's fingerprints are all over this place. Let's see what we can find. Oh. Yurik cleaned out the place pretty good when he left for... wherever. Yeah, just bits and scraps. Ah, behold! A map of the High Goblin Empire. Or, should I say, half a map. What about you guys? It seems the robots were designed for remote activation and control. It's actually pretty cool. It is cool, but right, I'm not surprised. Uh -huh. Lucas, remember when I told you how Marius defeated the goblin armies? Uh -huh. Well, that victory was short-lived. Humiliated by defeat, Yurik returned to his lab and conceived a new plan. He designed a control center from which to coordinate and command his forces as well as created weapons so powerful that no human could ever stop them. The largest of these weapons were called the Titans. In the final battle, Marius led the remnants of the human armies against the goblins. The Titans were mighty foes, and it seemed as if this would be the end for the humans. But in fact, Marius was creating a diversion. While he dueled against the Titans, his strike team infiltrated the control center. Marius' hand-picked warriors fought their way past formidable defenses and to its very heart. At the height of the battle, mere moments before the last of the human army was to be slaughtered, the strike team disabled the control center and the ancient weapons froze. Never to move again. Without the Titans, the High Goblins were quickly defeated. This time, our founder knew there could be no mercy. 
those few goblins that survived were cast into the wilderness. And Marius took his place in history as the greatest of leaders. Wow. Do you think someone found the control center and is reactivating the robots from there? Maybe. But no one knows where the control center is. Including us. Well, we've run out of clues here. What now? If it's old stuff you want, remember that place in Athenium? Yeah, the museum. We delivered all of the doctor's early prototypes Stood. there. Good idea, Nack. We're on it. That was Xander. He says the goblins have just attacked a human city. Athenium, by any chance? Yes. How did you... We have a theory. It's more of a hypothesis, really. Either way, we should go. There's the city. I'll drop in for a better look. Yikes! Goblins galore! They've got ancient weapons, too. This is not good. <laughs> Worse. They must have found the control center. Whoa! The monks are getting ready for battle. We need to talk to Xander. Friends! So glad for your help. Ava, I wish you had told me you were going with our new friends. I wish you had told me you were sending my brothers to battle. Our way is to seek peace. I am quite aware of the way of the monk. <sighs> Ava, you are a good leader, but you are young, and perhaps I've sheltered you too much. The I... path of peace is an ideal we respect, but when we are threatened in this flawed world, we must fight. Isn't there a better way? You will find that there is not. Xander, we have to get to the museum to find out more information, but the city is crawling with goblins. You'll find the museum a bit north of here. Garrett Hale created a version to keep the goblins away from them. Thank you, Xander. Come on, Neck. If you feel you need to go with them, then go. And Ava, be careful. I'll return as soon as I can. Nice move. Think you could teach me that one? Of course. <laughs> Guys, you should see this. Lucas, this is a high goblin. Right, like Yurik. Yes, but no one has seen one for hundreds of years. They sure are different from the ones we find skulking around the ruins. Will you take a look at that? See where they're heading? The museum. Looks like we all had the same idea. I say we go stop them. No. Let's get there first and see what they're looking for. That's sneaky. I like it. You go infiltrate the museum, I'll tell Xander that plans have changed. Uh, Ava. Be careful. What? <clears throat> oh, fancy. This wasn't here last time. Protected by Katrina's security. Katrina, Katrina? Yes, it's true. My ex is in private security. Well, if you're really missing her, you could date one of these robots. They look just like her. Who makes a million robot clones of themselves? I mean, who does that? Are you ever gonna tell us what happened between you two? Huh, I could. But I'm afraid it would trigger my flashbacks. It's exactly like her. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> it's exactly like her. We finally finished our exhibit. Nice. Hmm. 
Glad we didn't bring Doc's things here for nothing. Here's the story of your creation. After years of study, Dr. Vargas was able to solve the mystery of the relics and produce a living, thinking creature. It's just so amazing. I'm pretty happy with the outcome myself. So, where's my section? Doctor's assistant? That's it? You were a good assistant. Would it have killed them to mention my name? Without me, the doctor would never Shh. have known. Do you hear that? Goblins. Let's go. We are ready. Send a signal. Are they forgetting something? Forgive me. Send the signal, exalted one. Send him now. Can't believe the High Council chose him. To receive it. Yes, I have it. Beautiful. Whatever that is, take it out! Slight change of plans, boys. Now, what do we have here? This is the artifact the goblins were looking for? Remarkable. It reminds me of... It, nothing, really. I've never seen anything like it. It's as I suspected. The High Goblins are deeply involved in these events. That would have been nice to know. I believe I did mention it. I understand that you're having fun with Ava, but we must take this seriously. I am taking this seriously. The High Goblins will be hard to track down. After Marius was victorious in the war, he destroyed all their cities. All that's left is rubble. You know what? The map we saw in Yurik's lab, it has an extra marking. Do you think that might be the control center? I'd agree with you, but I've been to this spot, and there's nothing there. Not even ruins. Still worth a look, though, right? Definitely. <clears throat> About that <laughs> artifact. Lucas, the goblins must know something about that object. With my knowledge of relics, Doctor, and I, I appreciate your interest, but first it must be protected. Our village. Forgive is... me, Xander, but I can learn much you more know what? using my equipment. I'm gonna hang on to this lab. for a little while. Your lab. You coming? This could be a cultural significant find. I, I, I hate to see it dissected. <laughs> well, science is hardly about just. Dissecting. Now, Lucas, you must take this place seriously. Can you believe he said that? What does the doctor think we've been doing this whole time? Being distracted by me, apparently. Why don't you just give the artifact to Xander? I'll, I'll deal with it later. Well, just like I told you, a whole lot of nothing. Well, we're here. Let's go look around. The control center's out there. We'll find it. Come on. <clears throat> well, you look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. That's not the control center. How did a high goblin city survive the crystal wars? It just doesn't make sense. The city must be tied in somehow. This place will give us some serious clues. Let's find out, shall we?
The humans may have found us, but thanks to these ancient weapons, we have nothing to fear. We may have found the weapons, but do not underestimate their creature. He will be back, and we best be ready. <laughs> I really hate goblins. Are your forces ready to give him a proper welcome? Assembled as ordered. Exalted one. See, it's not so hard to say. I can't believe the High Council made you an elder. I was supposed to be next. You're no high goblin, Gundahar. This is madness! Who do you think gave you those weapons? And suit you wearing? My ancestors built these machines, not yours! Ah! You waited in the shadows for two centuries. The only reason the high goblins will have revenge on the humans is me. Get ready. Here he comes. Fire! I'll end this myself, Exalted One. Just a moment, Rothari. Catch me in. Hello, Mac. Gundahar. The one and only. I thought I took care of you a long time ago. Thinking never was your strong suit, Mac. Prepare to meet your doom. The last voice you'll ever hear will be mine! No! It will be mine! Compose yourselves! Rothari's defeat changes nothing! Mm, there you are. How have you been? Better, since I met my new friends, and realized I could help them with their human problem. How? Murder and mayhem? Well, as it turns out, the control center only needed a little work before the ancient weapons could be activated. So it was you, the weapons, the museum, that artifact. What's your game, Gundahar? The artifact? Well, if I told you about that, it would spoil the surprise. But rest assured, you do not want me to have it. For once, I agree with you. This ends now. <laughs> You didn't actually think I was here, did you, Nack? <laughs> that would be foolish. If you really want me, come find me at the control center, wherever that is. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Where is he? That is indeed the question. Gundahar is at the control center? Yeah. And he said we don't want him to have this... thing. He's not a High Goblin. I'm sure we can defeat him. Xander and I will mobilize- Ava, you have no idea what this ruthless creature is capable of. If he's already armed himself with the ancient weapons- Imagine if he got a hold of the Titans. How bad are these guys? You know the robots you've been fighting? Yeah. They're like that, except... Huger. I'm sure Nat can handle them. Did I mention they were huger? Maybe we should go take a look. We should secure any inactive weapons before Gundahar reaches them. Ryder. Say no more. If you want Titans, I know exactly where they are. Ava, take a squad with you. Lucas, while you're out with Ryder, isn't it about time you let an expert look at that artifact? Hmm? If you please. I'm glad to see you're finally taking this seriously. Uh, take this serious? 
You know what? You're right. I should absolutely take this more seriously. Here you go, Xander. I think you're just the expert we need. Let's go. Here it is, where Marius defeated the High Goblins and ended the Crystal Wars. And there are the Titans. You weren't kidding, Ryder. They're huge. At least there aren't any goblins around. Let's keep it that way. My thoughts exactly. Hale, once we're on the floor of the site, let's spread out and secure the area. See you on the far side, Ava. Take a look. Gundahar's after the big robots. More High Goblins. Where do they keep coming from? Won't matter when I'm done with them. Check this out. Thank you, Neck. Thank you all. Your efforts saved many lives today. I am especially proud of you, Ava. Thank you, Xander. But I'm afraid we're no closer to stopping Gundahar. Yeah, it's like we're back at the beginning. Not really. When we started, watching Neck smash robots was a lot more fun. Yeah. I wonder. Here's where we first saw them wake up, on our hike. Next, they woke up in the valley near here. And here's where we were fighting them today. Those locations sort of form a line. Exactly. They're waking up in order of distance from the control center. Close, further, furthest. But that would put the control center out over the ocean. That's a long way to go, just to follow up a hunch. I'm not... For once, I agree with Xander. It's definitely an interesting theory, Lucas. But I think we should focus on more promising leads. I'm wondering... If Ryder! ...a detector, uh, properly configured, of course... You know I'm always with you, Lucas. But a control center out over the ocean somewhere? It, it's not very likely. We here at the monastery have been looking to the future to develop our technology. Come. Let me show you the modern world, Doctor. Modern world? I know it's not much of a lead, but I just have this feeling, you know? And who knows? Maybe I'm right. It's not like it hasn't happened before. You know what? You've got a point. At least my idea deserves to be checked out. Let's go. Thanks for the talk, buddy. <sighs> Took you boys long enough. Welcome aboard.
That's my Lucas. Anything yet? Nothing yet. But I know what's out there. I can feel it. Do you always let feelings influence your actions? Of course. Don't you? I guess I do now. Oh, that's just a cloud. You sure about that? You're right. Let's check it out. An island with a tower. That's right, a giant metal tower. Xander was so surprised we found the location. And it only took me three tries. Four. <laughs> but who's counting? Now, to find Gundahar. These guys are just slowing me down. Got any ideas, Ava? Try this. So this is the heart of the control center. What a mess. I can see why this worked only intermittently. Still being fixed. Let's see how well this thing works without a power supply. Hmm. I'm coming for you, Gundahar. Now! I've been waiting for you! Gundahar! Taking the side of the humans again, are you? You think you can oppose us? Of course! In that case, come on up! We'll see who has the last laugh! <laughs> you could make it, Knack. You're just in time to meet your doom. We'll see about that. <laughs> How adorable. You have a sidekick. Sidekick? That's it. Nobody insults Lucas but me. Yeah. Wait, what? Good. Xander's here. And Gundahar was using the machinery here to send out the signals. Yeah, total hack job. He did get the robots running, though. <laughs> you say that like it's a good thing. Oh, Lucas. The robots aren't the problem. It's who controls them that makes a difference. Take this artifact. I recognized it instantly. It's an energy source designed by Yorick to power this control center. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. You can see how it fits into the dynamo here like hand into glove. If you knew what it was, then why didn't you tell us when I gave it to you? Some things are better left... unsaid. Now watch, as I turn the ancient weapons against the High Goblins. And now to wake them all. Wake them? We want to stop them. Wait, just hear him out. You knew about this? No, but I know Xander has a plan. We have to believe in him. Ava, the plan was to stop the robots and the goblins. We've done that. 
<sighs> you know what the problem is with people like you, Lucas? No vision. Imagine what could be accomplished with an army of invincible robot warriors. Why, we could change the world. I'm putting an end to this. Neck, stop. Please. They're on our side. We just have to I explain. believe your trust is misguided. But ask them. Will you help us? Even no. We can't. You see, their kind simply cannot understand our mission. Time to go, Ava. We can't just leave them here. I know you've grown fond of them, but remember our purpose. What we do, we do for the sake of all mankind. It is our duty. They'll be safe here? You can retrieve them when things are set right. They'll be welcome citizens in my new world. Don't believe him. Ava. Do you still trust me? I do. I'm sorry. Ava! You won't get away with this, Xander. I already have. Boys! Show Knack that little trick I taught you. <laughs> Of course he wrecked it. Why didn't you stop Xander? You're only like four times his size. Hmm. Must be easy to stand back and bark orders. You stick to the fighting. I'll handle the strategy, thank you. Some strategy, you hothead. You handed Xander the artifact. Well, maybe now you can beat him and impress Ava again. Ooh, Knack, how impressive. Oh, Knack, you're so amazing. Lucas, grow up. Hey, Nack. Hey. Listen, I, I, I really didn't mean what I... I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at Ava. Me too. How could you choose that Xander guy over us? We're awesome! Right? We're also stranded. Maybe we could find something to help us get home. Okay. Um... Well, we have one wrecked plane. And a few pine trees. And lots of... robot rubble. We're going to be here a while, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe the doctor will send Ryder out with a search party. I doubt Xander would let that happen. There's got to be a way to get home. I just can't think of it. Maybe you'll think of something in the morning. Let's get some shut-eye. Maybe. Just maybe. Knack! 
It's time to go to work! funny looking we built it from scraps of busted robots of course it looks funny let's do this are you sure this is gonna work yeah <laughs> hope so Ready? Yeah! Here we go. Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> we'll hit the doctor's mansion first. Might as well settle in. We got a long way to go. This is worse than I thought. I hope they're okay. Time to do your thing, buddy. Looks like you cleaned up the garden pretty well. The monks may be our enemies now, but they still fight the same. Let's head in. you two disappeared, things got a little strange. Xander announced his new world order and took the monks on a rampage across the country. Your little friend Ava is the one who led the attack here. That figures. I'd say we're lucky she's the one who led the attack. Some of those monks can be ruthless. As far as we know, New Haven is the last holdout. Anything else? There are rumors that Xander is readying the next part of his plan. That can't be good. So, Lucas, where's my plane? Uh, um, about that. But at least we saved an engine. I loved that plane. Is this a thumb? And what's that? A head? You built this out of robot parts? <laughs> I can't believe you made it all the way back in this thing. You're certainly the brave one. Stop breaking things, dear. Lucas, I'd like to set you up with a proper engine. Do you mind if I tinker a bit? Be my guest. So, it's Xander, his monks, and the ancient weapons against just us? Well, unless you know someone with a large, independent military force. 
No. no. Absolutely not. No. There is no way I am going to Katrina's fortress. So that's Katrina's place, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All of this can't be just to keep you out, can it? Oh, I'd say it's definitely just to keep me out. Well, I guess she's not home. Let's go. Uncle. For the last time, Ryder. Go away. You heard the lady. Seriously, what happened? Um, guess I'll have to do this the hard way. <sighs> Katrina, we need to talk. No need to speak. Nack already briefed me about the situation. Fortunately, I have several thousand security robots specifically designed to keep out undesirables. You're talking about Ryder, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. A few tweaks and they'll be ready to take on Xander's robots. What kind of tweaks, exactly? Leave it to me. What is that thing? That's my ride. Thanks, Charlotte! Katrina, I'll meet you at Norcliffe. Now, let's see what this baby can do. I don't know what Xander's up to in there, but I'm sure it's not good. Looks like Katrina and her troops are ready to go. Nack and I will infiltrate and get that door open for you. Tell Katrina. Right. I'll let Charlotte know to tell the doctor to let Katrina know you're on your way. Just talk to her, uncle. <sighs> yeah, you've never had a thousand robots programmed to destroy you. Knack, take a look. We might be able to get the door open from there. Yeah. So that's what's going on. Xander's repairing them, restoring them to mint condition. Let's go. Nice stun move. Whoa, that's new. He's repairing the Titans, too. What now? Now, we fight. Three Titans in perfect shape. Not bad. After we get one more patched up and make a little detour, we'll be ready for the attack on New Haven. Soon we will make things right. Knack. He survived the island. Survived? What do you mean survived? Men! Destroy that thing! Oh, yeah. 
year. So you did attack them? Of course I did. You knew they were a problem, but you let your emotions decide what is right. No, I let you decide what's right. This is not what our founder wanted. Ava, Marius established our order to lead this world. You know that. Just wait. You will come to understand I am right in these matters. Once the monks are in their proper place, you won't even remember those boys. Those boys? Mac and Lucas are my friends! I am your friend, Ava. Those boys are just... Well, they're nothing. Enough, Xander. Enough of your plans, your, your, your ambition, your lies. Enough! What I should have done long ago. Goodbye, Xander. Ava! You've made your choice, Ava. I will make mine. Shut it down, we're moving out. If it's fixed, take it with us. The rest leave as scrap. We don't have time to deal with prisoners, Snack. She helped me when I was in trouble. I think we can trust her. Trust her? Am I the only one who remembers the island? I didn't think Sander would hurt you. You have to believe me. Fine. But if she betrays us again, it's on you. Enough now. We've got bigger problems. Like where Xander is taking the Titans, and what he plans on doing when he gets there. Let's follow them and find out. Shall we? gathering inside the crater. What is this place, anyway? No one knows. Dates back to the time of the High Goblins. Old machinery. Purpose... unknown. Xander's been talking about... Come on, Nack, let's do this. Lucas, wait! He's just being hot-headed. Give him a minute. He'll cool off. Xander's got the artifact. He's placing it in some kind of machine. What is he doing? That's what I was trying to tell you. This machine was the final part of Yurik's plan. He never had the chance to use it, but it's designed to make the robot stronger. Make them stronger. How? Xander didn't tell me. I'm sorry. I don't know. Of course you don't. Lucas, I know that I shouldn't have put my faith in Xander, but haven't you ever trusted the wrong person? Yes. And the next time I trust someone, I'm going to be a lot more careful. We need to get down there, fast right behind you. <sighs> Xander's not fooling around. Those things are nasty. We're too late. He's powering up the Titans. Look! Oh, Katrina's in trouble. We have to help her. All right, let's do it. Nack, wait. I swore an oath never to reveal this kata to outsiders. But I know this is what you need to defeat Xander. Now 
Now go get him. You okay? What? Just when I've convinced myself I made the right decision about us, you go and do something like this. It's enough to drive someone crazy. You're reconsidering, aren't you? Oh, no. Sure you are. <laughs> Katrina's forces have been destroyed. It's up to you two now. You're all that stands between Xander and New Haven. Ava. Why is he doing this? I know he's hard to understand, but... After Marius crushed the High Goblins and their civilization, and there were no more battles to be fought, he looked upon all that he had wrought and realized he had become as cruel as the High Goblins. It was then Marius knew that humankind needed wisdom more than strength. Marius turned to the way of peace. He founded the Order of the Monks, and for many years they ruled the human world. And we began to thrive. The way of peace suited humans, but more importantly, the way of the monk was respected. But as our founder's time came to an end, so did the influence of the monks. Our contributions to humanity were all but forgotten. Soon people thought of us as solitary eccentrics or worse, quaint folk of a bygone era. Xander found it all humiliating. He felt power was the only way to regain the respect we lost. Yeah, but the whole army of ancient robots thing? It's a bit much. Plain? Plain. We'll be right behind you. Three Titans left. Nice to be home. But it's different than I remember. It's probably the invading army. Let's go. I'll take it from here. You're a little fragile for what's running around out there. I just wish I could do more. Do more? You figured out what was happening. Found the control center. Saved us when we were stranded. And I gave Xander the artifact. Those super-powered robots out there? That's me, too. We all make mistakes, Lucas. What matters is what you do next. I just can't help but think. It's all my fault. What have I done? Get down! <laughs> We'll set this right, Lucas. Beginning now. <clears throat> Today, the capital. Tomorrow, the world. You don't give up easily, do you? Oh, what else would I expect from the world-saving hero? Xander, this stops now! <laughs> we'll see about that! Right, Mac. 
You've lost, Xander. Your reign has ended before it even began. Are you crying? <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I've been looking for you for months. I gotta tell you what's happened. Which I guess I'll do later. Let's go. Check out the clone of you. Sander wasn't kidding when he told the doc he could create life from relics. Those things are everywhere. Wait a second. This is the cave under the monastery? Hmm. Looks like they're building something. So, what have I missed? Well, after Xander blasted you with the artifact, we really tried to stop him, Nack. But his monks took you away, and we just couldn't fight them. The artifact? So that's what got me. We tried searching for you here first, but the place was abandoned. That's when Ava and I decided to split up. I kept looking for you, and she went off to find monks she still trusted. I haven't seen her since. That's not good. No, it gets worse. People started disappearing. The doctor, Charlotte, everybody. Finally, I saw one of your clones, and I followed him back here. And this time, the place was swarming. I knew you had to be somewhere in here. And all this? No idea. But he's definitely building something out of robot parts. Something so large it won't even fit in here. Just in time. So good to see you again, here in this place where we first met. Before things began to get a little crazy. You mean back when you wanted to rule the world? After I thought it through, I realized that it'd be work, 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 work. Too much trouble, really. Actually, you gave me an idea, Lucas. You and that little plane of yours. Here it comes. Building something out of leftover robot parts is really clever. But if you're going to do it, do it the right way. Behold! The Armageddon Machine! Armageddon machine? Too much? Devastation machine didn't sound big enough. An end of the world machine was just too wordy. You're mad. <laughs> I think so, yes. In any case, I'm glad you boys made it for the grand finale. Uh, uh, you know what this can do to you. <sighs> Rule the world. This world? You people don't deserve our rule. It's clear we need a return to simpler times. When Marius spoke, everyone listened because he was all that stood between them and death. I'm going to restore that way of life. <laughs> Cities, towns, villages, the trappings of our so-called civilization, they make us weak. And to give this a personal touch. I'm going to start with those you love most in this world. When the Armageddon machine reaches New Haven, they will be the first to meet their doom. Lucas Snack, always a pleasure.
Think you can make that jump? No choice. Get your plane and come find me. Good luck, buddy. a simpler time to me. Hey, Lucas! Let's meet on top! Knack! You made it! Of course. Now, how are we going to stop this thing? No idea. There's a door back this way, but it's locked. Nat! Lucas! Ava! I'm off to warn the city that this thing's coming. Good luck, Ava! What do you think, Lucas? Something's not right. going to destroy New Haven. We have to stop him. I think I know how, but it's risky. My plane! <laughs> Knack, I need you to get to Xander and the artifact. <laughs> Lucas! Trust me. I always do. <laughs> Impressive timing, Knack. Now you can watch the destruction of everything you hold dear. <gasps> I think you'll enjoy this. Katrina? About you and me. I'm sorry. Took you long enough? I'm sorry too. Lucas, no! What are you doing? Just prolonging the inevitable. Fire when ready, boys. No! I hope this works. Got him! <sighs> so much for your know-it-all friend. Didn't think it through, did you? Lucas built that plane from robot parts. 
The same robot parts that power up and transform when they're hit by the artifact. Ha! Every time you shoot him, you just make him stronger. Time to go, Xander. That's our boys. And as chairwoman of New Haven, I happily sign this treaty with the monks. Ava? I'm sorry. It's me who should apologize. You did. A lot. It was me who... I've made so many mistakes and I Ava. Just... A friend once told me that we all make mistakes. What matters is what you do next. Your friend sounds wise beyond his years. Why, thank you. You're not so bad yourself. Luke, buddy! Oh, my favorite nephew who stole and wrecked my plane and owes me a big favor. Don't you think Katrina should give me a second chance? Oh, no, you are not dragging me into this one. <laughs> Too late. How are you doing? You know, I've been following Xander's way for so long, I don't know what my way is. I know what you mean. I love them and all, but sometimes I want to know if there's anyone else out there truly like me. Maybe it's time to get out there and find out. How's now? Plane's packed. Let's get out of here. Don't worry, Ava. You'll find your way. I know. You will too. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Well, where do you think they're off to? With those two? It could be anywhere. Hmm. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Let's go find out what's out there. And that's the story of how Nack and I saved...